Hi guys, just before we get into the actual video, I thought I'd provide some close-up shots and a few mod shots as well. I am currently in my pyjamas because it is a Sunday after all. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hi guys, I bought a new handbag from Saint Laurent and I wanted to unbox it for you today, kind of. I have already been using it, but um, naturally this is an unboxing. So I'll be unboxing it and then just kind of talking you through it just in case you're in the market yourself. I mean, obviously this is their classic, it's their staple, and that's why I thought it would be good to invest. And I have to say, just right off the bat, and I know that this is slightly overdramatic, but this bag has... <laughs> actually improved my quality of life so right off the bat it's uh it's a good review of this bag to say the least when it arrives it's going to come in a huge box like this it's very large and then if we open it up now normally it would come with tissue paper and wrapping within the bag itself to obviously ensure that the structure of the bag remains intact. Still got that, but I haven't popped it in the box just for now, just for, I don't know if I ever wanna keep the shape of it, for example. It just comes with a cute little um, packet. This is just packaging. It's wrapped around the box. And then you'll also receive just your invoice in here, and then sort of, you know, like a card of authenticity, I believe. If we pull it out, comes in a really nice large dust bag very nice and then the bag itself looks like this so this is the one that I went for obviously in black opt to keep this like so or you can lift it up and it actually stays up i was always under the impression i didn't know whether or not it would stay but it does so throughout the whole day it will just look like this the logo here i'll obviously insert some shots for you guys just so that you can see and i'm not sure when this bag came out but it is definitely one of their classics it's a staple piece and the main, I w it was a toss up between this one and the Louis Vuitton, so the Neverfull. I decided to, in the, in the end, opt for this one. And the reason I decided to do that was price point. Mainly price point and also the fact that it's black so it goes with absolutely everything. Whenever I do these, I like to give you guys as much of the bag as I possibly can. Because whenever I'm reviewing, I really just like getting a feel and seeing sort of the bag from every angle. I mean, that's it from the bottom. This bag is really nice and big. It truly does fit a lot in there. So it, this is my work bag. Inside, it just comes with a little pouch. Please excuse my nails. I believe you could detach this pouch if you really wanted to. That's obviously entirely up to you. And then in terms of what this fits, I mean, for scale, this is my phone, this is the pouch itself. I've currently got another little card holder in there, but it will fit your phone. And I have the 12 Pro Max. And a push as well, so you can fit you know, your essentials in there. The other nice thing about this is it's really easy to clean. So sometimes I'll get, you know, perhaps a minor scratch on there or something and it just comes right off. So this is the Shopping Saint Laurent E slash W in supple leather. It currently retails for £865. And the description is simply Saint Laurent 
unstructured tote bag with flat leather handles and removable leather encased metal interlocking wire sales signature charm. It's 96.3% calfskin leather. Dimensions are 37 times 28 times 13 centimeters slash 14.5 times 11 times 5.1 inches. The handle drop is 23.5 centimeters. It's gold toned hardware, obviously, if you can see that. Just nice and simple. It's got a magnetic snap closure a removable zip, oh, removable zip pouch, so it is removable. It's unlined and it's made in Italy. So yeah, like I said, the reason that I went for this one is because it's a tote bag and I knew that it was gonna be for work, the, the Louis has gone up a lot. This one has also, I believe, gone up by a couple of hundred, which designer handbags tend to do every year. Um, but I just think, Comparatively, when you do compare it to the Louis, for me personally, I don't want to spend over a grand for a tote bag, especially one that I know I'm going to be um, obviously still caring, but I won't baby this bag as much as my other one, for example, where it is a work bag, it is going to get slightly, or the risk of wear and tear will be slightly higher with this one, where I am actually using it every day. But I absolutely love it, you guys. Um, I would highly recommend this bag, especially if you are looking to add just a nice simple tote to your collection. I can't recommend this piece enough. I actually spent a good year debating whether or not I wanted this one, the Gucci or the Louis, and eventually my birthday rolled around and I decided to just take the plunge and go for this one. This is just a really good positive review. I'm really happy with this purchase and I would highly recommend it. In terms of what you can fit, you can fit a lot of things in this bag. Obviously it's gonna weigh it down. This isn't so much a what it fits test, however. This is just me showing you what to expect. The back is completely plain. I forgot to mention that right at the beginning. If you guys like unboxings, then please do consider subscribing. Again, no pressure. And give this video a like as well, as it greatly helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!